goodness, let me just, so let's talk about the packaging. It is pleasing to the eye. Where is it? What is it? Wait a minute. Let well, me put the sticker over that one. Okay. The new one. Let's try the new one. Magic. It is appealing. I didn't have to gnaw my way into the packaging, which is what usually happens. It was, was easy to open. It was easy to open. That never happens. Never happens. Usually I have to use my canine teeth to get in here. All right, there. Okay. Are I'm you just happy? Trying to, I am happy now. Yes, I am. Because I felt like I was kind of starting to do this. So, okay. So, are you going to join me? I am. All right. So. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Where's the other? Is this the other bold one? Okay, so this is the one that we're giving away. I'm putting it over here. All right. And I'm sorry if I keep scratching my nose. My wig hair is, yeah, mine's is touching like, my face. I had mine in my teeth, so I was like... <laughs> that reminds me. Did I tell you guys I'm getting braces? But her um, dentist, her dentist um, uh, boss, who's Jameel Khan, and he is made of magic, too. Yeah, he's pretty fantastic. Smilodonics. He did my teeth. He's going to... He did her teeth. See how beautiful they are? So I'm getting these things. I so have a selfie worthy smile. There you go. And I am going to have a selfie worthy smile too. Oh, that's a lot of light. I'm sorry. Well, that's okay because I think we need to define it since we are maybe not not look directly into the sunlight. I was just trying to get a little bit more. We need light a light man. Here. That's what we need. I okay, this out. so It opens from both ends. Yeah, I think one's an eyeliner and one's the stamp. What does a stamp do? You put, well, hang on a minute. Now, Did it come with directions? Because I feel like, no, wait a minute. No, there are no directions. Of or not. If there's directions, it's in Chinese. Yes. How did you, okay, there are no directions. So, here's one end of okay, it. Okay, that one was easy to open. I can't get this one open. Do you want me to do it? I can use my canine teeth. Is that how you opened it? No, I did not, actually, this time. Anyway, this one. Oh, okay, so can you guys see? Didn't look like a little stamp right there? Anybody know what that's for? Shout it out. That's where you put it on your eye. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like, what do you do? Okay. Well, give me one second. You're the beauty guru ah! here, not me. Did you see this? So basically, we're sending you a magic marker. <laughs> You're welcome. <coughs> You're supposed okay. to put the, the stamp that on the corner of your eye. thick as hell. This is going to be, because you know how I feel about big stuff. I Like with the highlighter. If a little dab will do you, a lot is going to do you that much better. So that's better. why you had to have the bold one. So that's okay. why I wanted the bold one. Holy crap, that thing is huge. Okay. Does it smell like a... Nope, doesn't smell like a magic marker. That's a plus. All right, here we go. It I'm going stinks. in. stinks. I'm going to do... Okay. Okay, it defined... I mean... The, you know, the pointy thing did okay. I'm getting it in my eyeball. Oh. I've got it under, look. Okay. <laughs> yep. You can always tell a true artist when they have ink all yep. over them. This really is like trying to put on uh, eyeliner with a magic marker. So, but it did go on nice and smooth. It did. I kind of like it. I kind of like it too. Not going to lie. So, let's try the cat eye, shall we? Let's go in for the cat eye. I got one side too high. What are you doing? My version of a cat eye. Okay, you know that's what the pointy thing is for, right? No. You that's didn't tell me. Was. You didn't tell me what the stamp was for. You said, hold on a minute, and then you never circled back. 
thought you were just following my lead. No. Okay, let's do it. What is that? That's the, you put this right here to give you the cat eye. Hold, please. Okay, so I'm putting it. So see the, the point right there? Yeah. That goes in the corner of your eye. So I do it like this? No. Or I do this, it the other way? This point goes in the corner of your eye and this goes outside. See, I got it underneath my eye. I don't feel like... I don't... I don't... I am not comfortable with the stamp. Okay, hang on. Wait. I want to see you do it. I already did it. I feel like it's a little messy. I feel like the stamp is a little messy. I'm just gonna say that. I like it. But I like, I actually like the, the pen itself. I like the fact that I feel confident. I feel, I feel like a confident makeup artist when I'm holding this. Because it's, maybe because of its okay. girth. I don't know. Where's the? The stampy yeah. part of it. All right. So now you have your guy lines, and now you can fill it in on top. Where's your lid at? Right here in my hand. So, here, let me see. So it gives you a, a guide. Well, that's your point. Here, I can't do it from this direction. And you need the bowl because you've got... Those giant, huge, enormous, humongous eyeballs. Exactly. So I have to say, I'm happy with it. I'm not crazy about the stamp action. I think you will be if you just use it a little bit. You know that I'm a skimmer. Look at that. What do you guys think? I like it. I do too. I think I like it. I think I got too low on this side though compared to this side. Yeah. I think that this is a win. So look, <laughs> like, I, like one eye is going down, the other one's going up. Mm. So I just need to practice it a little bit. I think we'll get it. So let's see if it holds up, because I feel like the bottom of it is, maybe the color is shading? I don't know. Maybe I didn't put enough on. I I really think I like it. The only problem is, is I like my eyeliner to be waterproof, and I don't know if this is waterproof. That was the thing. I was like, if I blink a whole bunch, is this going to start coming off? But if it's, I don't think that it's waterproof. That's the only thing. Anyway, some lucky contestant Ugh. is getting one of the... I don't think it's waterproof. Shin's over here making a mess. There's that. So we were going to talk about... <clears throat> one of the topics that we were going to talk about today... See, we're all girlfriends. I can straighten my wig and you guys don't even care. Anyway. I feel kind of fancy now. Yep. Nailed it! I just think we are two flabulously gorgeous women. I think that we are flabulous. I do. Well, I think, I think that like we are flabulously gorgeous. Which our t-shirts and our mugs are going to be ready on Saturday. When I say I can't wait, I cannot. I can't not freaking wait. I, if you didn't see the live before, um, before I joined forces with Jen here um, about an hour ago, I was talking about... Our, we're trying to brand, you know, get our logo and all the fun stuff together for the menopausal view. And we have a fabulous friend um, that owns Exquisite Vinyl Creations. I believe that that is a name. I will, when we go back to fix this. I'm making my head shake. 
I'm trying to oh. make it go more towards you than towards me. So, um, anyway. Um, so you don't feel like you're like. She is doing this. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, but anyway, she is, she created a little logo for us and we're going to be tweaking it we as helped. we go along. We helped. Yeah. She gave us the foundation for it. But we helped. We did help. We did help. She's very talented. And so she is helping us make our, um, menopausal view stuff. So they will be available for order also, um, within the next couple of weeks. Hey. So, Lauren, share share this, share share our video, and tell people to jump on. I can't see who's there. That's why I put it up over here so we can I see it. Because nobody's showing up over here. I can't see anything. But, I can't see anything. But Lauren, share your video. Share us. Yeah, and, share us because we're doing can, a giveaway. Yeah, and you can you can get registered to get um to get some um bold eyeliner stamp thingy. Yeah. And so, um, but one of the topics that we're talking about because <sighs> husbands, significant others, um, if you've got a wife, if you've got a life partner, you have somebody that sleeps on your couch, um, what else? These people that don't listen to a damn thing you say. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Perfect. Like... Things that about your significant other that drive you absolutely bonkers. What's one, like, name one thing that Sean does that drives you nuts. He snaps my bra. <gasps> he is exactly seven years old. He absolutely is. He, he doesn't just snap my bra. He snaps my underwear. He snaps my, like, anything that has elastic on it. He thinks that he has to snap it. Sean. 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 <sighs> okay, so <clears throat> my husband doesn't listen to a damn thing I say. What? Yep. Yep. So I told Mr. I told him two weeks ago. I've been telling him for, I don't know, four months that the four months, four months, not four days, not four weeks, not four hours, four months. Last four months, I've been telling him, I'm like, hey, mister, the faucet up at our daughter's house is leaking and needs to be replaced. I said, also, she has a slow drain. So can you please go up there and be handy dandy and go up there and look into that for us, please? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow as soon as I pick up so-and-so and as soon as I shave, shower, and douche or whatever else it is that he has to do. <laughs> so, you know, periodically. And then the thing, if it was like, I would remind him and remind him and then it would get off my radar because I have a very powerful brain and I am I, I'm engaged in so many other activities and so many other things that I can't be bothered with mortal worries that's because we're the ultimate supreme levels of the universe we are in a, and people just need to pay attention and do what we say because we don't have time for everything i don't else. have time to keep repeating myself so that being said finally my daughter says hey mom the shower head has popped off now can somebody please come up here take a look at this faucet so i tell him i'm like hey could you please go up there and take a look at the faucet? Because I had already been up there and I got the drain unstuck by using about four things of Mr. Plumber. Okay. So really all I'm looking at now is just the just the faucet being replaced. You know, the knobs on the faucet thing. Because the little thing that changes it from a shower to a bath thing had rusted. It had rusted shut and it wouldn't pop up and down. So, I asked, he said, oh, yeah, I'm going to go up there. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go up there tomorrow, and I'm going to take a look at it then. And, okay. I asked him the following day, did you go up there? Because now I'm using this tone. Did you go up there and look at that damn shower? Did you look at the, did you look at the faucet? 
So his response is, I went up there and I took a look at it. And, okay, keep in mind, first of all, I have already told him, I've already fixed the drain. That is now a non-factor. I need you to go up there and look at the faucet fucking handles. So, like I said, I approach this. I am civil. I am trying to... Uh, I'm trying to remain calm. I'm trying to not use any of my bad words. I've tucked my my bad words all down in here. They're all they're all down here because I know that he's like a little deer. If you use too strong of a, you know, he gets he's very sensitive. They're very sensitive creatures, aren't they? They're like woodland animals. They really are. Um, you know, so, but I'm, I still want to let you know though that this is this is intense. This is something that is important and it needs to get taken care of now. So I said, did you go up there? Did you look at the thing? He said, yeah, yeah, I went up there and uh, that's going to be need to be snaked. What do you mean? What needs to be snaked? The drain. The drain needs to be snaked. Not what the, not what the fuck I sent you up there for. I'm like, I, I know that we had a conversation about this. I know that I specifically said, don't look at the drain because I fixed that. Look at the faucet. It changed the faucets. Well, I didn't look at the faucet handles. I looked at the drain. We've been married for almost 15 years. And I don't think he's heard a word that I've said for 14 and a half. <laughs> I don't think he's heard a damn thing that I've been saying for 14 and a half years. I really don't. He likes to, <clears throat> that's another thing, and that's another thing. My husband doesn't hang up or put away any of his clean clothes. He likes to see them out. He likes to be able to touch them, I guess. I don't know. He hangs up. He, if I put something on a hanger and hand it to him, he hangs it on this little hook thing that we have in our bedroom, or he'll lay it gingerly across my settee so that there's just a shit ton of sweatpants and t-shirts and it's all out. And I don't like out. I don't like things to be out. I like things to have their place and be put away. Now, granted, I fall short of the glory of God. We all come, sh you know, we all fall short. I'm not perfect. I don't have OCD. I don't require that everything be, you know, 100%. But... 33 would be good. A solid 30, solid 33% would be good. Let me ask you a question. Yes, ma'am. Does Mr. Let you sleep through the night? We work opposite shifts. He works thirds and I work first, so. So does Sean and I. Mm-hmm. But does he let you sleep on the nights when he's home? Yeah, he does. I have to give him that. Because usually he's asleep too, so. Let me tell you something. About my husband. So, <clears throat> my husband will pretend like he's going to bed with me when he's home, okay? And I'm a very, very, very light sleeper. I sleep with earplugs in. I sleep with a CPAP machine on. I sleep with mouth guards. I sleep with an eye mask. So, like, my whole head... You're is, like cyborg at night. I am. I'm like, I don't want any sound... <laughs> I don't want any, I want nothing, okay? Nothing. So, my, my husband will sneak, okay? Now, you know we built him a, a man cave. Yes, I've seen the man which, cave. Which means he has, Very a, nice. he has a corner of the house that I have granted him permission that he can decorate however he wants, okay? He has a big old screen TV in there, and he has his PlayStation 4, I think, or something. I don't know. And he buys all, he spends all of his money on these games, right? Mm -hmm. And vape juice. That's what he lives for. He lives for video games and vape juice. So he will get up, he'll sneak out of bed to go play video games, right? Around two, three o'clock in the morning, I'll hear this. I'm pretty sure it's caterwauling. I have no other word for it. 
okay? <laughs> like the cat has been attacking, you know how the cats attack the windows because there's another animal in their, in their, in their yard, okay? <laughs> yes. And they're, and they're like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah. So I hear this at three o'clock in the morning and I'm like, what is happening? Right. I go in his man cave, he's got his beer bottle up to his mouth, and he's singing, <sighs> he is singing Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes! Winning. At least yep. I think that's what he's singing. Okay. Because he sounds like he's dying. Okay, at three o'clock in the morning. And it's, uh, he's not, I love him. I do, I love him. He's precious. But he cannot sing. Especially when he's drunk at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so he tells me when when I go in there to, you know, figure out if he's dying or not, that he's going to start his own show. He's going to start his own show and he's going to call it the Beard, Beard Talk because he has this beard that he thinks has become magical power. Yes, he does. He thinks that his whole, his whole life's soul is in his beard. So he's going to start a show that he swears is going to be more popular than us. And it may be. I don't Probably know. Will I don't be. know. But he, he has decided that you have to be drunk to watch his show. It will be on at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, and you can only watch it if you have been drinking. And he has to have had at least three beers. I'm not sure why there's that stipulation. And how he's going to know if other people have been drinking or not. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. It's a trust based but, system. Yeah. But he has decided that he has, he is the, he is the, the ultimate supreme ruler of the universe. Which is kind of, mm, I know. You can't have that though. So he thinks that he, um. That sounds like dissension. I think that you may be right. We may have you to. You need to handle that. I will. I will take care of it. There you go. But three o'clock in the morning. Bohemian Rhapsody, off key. My husband. He works a lot, a lot. And <clears throat> one thing that um, I did do today. Is, and, and, I, and I've started to become a little passive aggressive with these little, like, show of force, but not really show of force. Like, um, he has that, uh, what is the name of the, um, it's not Irish Spring. What is it, the guy's body wash stuff? What is that? Not Axe. What is it, the red and blue stuff? Mm. Somebody See, knows what I'm talking Sean about. Sean uses it too. Old Irish. Or, Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, I've started bathing with it. I use a little bit of his body wash every day until he runs out. And then I have girl stuff sitting there just because. You know, <clears throat> every time that there's an Amazon package that pulls up to the... Old Spice. Old Spice. Thank you. Who, who said that? D Eagles. D Eagles. Thank you, Sugar Lumps. That's it. Old Spice. So I've been using his old old spice body wash. I have. And I smell delightful. Smell me. I smelled it. I, I actually did it before I came out here. Can, Can you, you smell, smell a little bit? bit? Mm -hmm. I do so I smell magnificent. Magnificent. I do. I use a little bit of that every day, just as a little passive aggressive move. <sighs> I'm telling you. And then there is what else was there? He was doing something else. His work boots. First of all, his work, his work boots, they smell like sweet pickle juice. Oh, that's better than Sean's. His smells like swamp ass. Those belong in the garage. They don't belong in the... And then he's gone nose blind. In the middle so, of the floor. <clears throat> middle of the floor. Middle, the middle of the floor. of the effing floor. I'm walking. I have a shoe rack. And I'm... Tr right? There's he a, shoe has rack. a shoe rack. I'm like, put the damn things up on the shoe rack. If you can't... Take them to the garage. That's fine. No problem. Put them on the shoe rack. I trip over his shoes every freaking morning. Every damn day. Every damn day. I have almost decapitated myself. Thank you. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. then he has the audacity. If I leave my shoes next to the couch, over here to the side where it's not oh, even. In oh, the... yes. Oh, yes. let me pick well, up your yeah, shoes. But you left your shoes. You are so around. lazy. And, right. Let exactly. me take care of those for you. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have that problem. 
yeah. Then he complains if I, because every night, I'm, you know, when I make dinner, I, because I don't bother to get him up because it breaks up his sleep. Because that would be like somebody waking you right, up at 3.30 right. in the morning. Right. Like he <coughs> does me. There you go. So, I pack up his dinner to go. So, he'll always, he always opens up the lid and he'll say, oh, you're going to make me fall asleep tonight. There's too many carbs. Why would you give me this much spaghetti? Who? in the hell is cooking for me. <laughs> My thing is, if I had somebody to cook dinner and then packaged it, I think I would show a little bit more gratitude. Like, oh, sweetheart, this looks like the best spaghetti and garlic bread and, and sugar-laden pop that you've packed along with some potato chips. Yes, yes, this is magnificent. And then if you don't want to eat it because you're going to be carb-heavy, whatever. You know? Just saying. Did you just pick up your, the thing and look at your teeth? I did. I was. I feel. It looks like I have lipstick on my teeth in the in the thing. You don't. I know. I see that now. Okay. I was very self conscious about it though, because every time I smile, look, it looks pink. You see it? Look in the thing. It looks pink. I think that's just you. I think that's just you being weird. So. Oh, I'm just other? being weird. I think you're just being weird there. Yep. But I have to say this though. Mm-hmm. The. With Sean. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, just so you guys know, I call him the puppy. Because um, I have this tendency to bring strays home with me. Animals, people, you know. I try to keep everybody, you know, because I love everybody and I want to keep them all. Mm -hmm. And so, my when I met Sean, my mom was like, he can't move in here with us. She said... You tell Off the, the rip. She said, tell the puppy he has to go home. And I said, well, he has his own house. That's not going to happen. We live here with my mom. Just so you know. Anyway, so we call him the puppy. So he is, here's the thing though. I have been really sick. And this man has completely stepped up. And in all fairness... Sean kind of waits on her hand and foot, like. Not hand and foot. It's kind of hand and foot. It's a little bit. It's hand and one foot. At least one foot. Well, he he also goes, like, with the fashion shows and stuff. He's always hauling stuff for us. He is, he is by far the greatest human being I could have ever asked for in my life. I would have to agree with that. <clears throat> I'm very, I'm very lucky to have him. He's very proactive too about the, you know, jumping in there to help. Yeah. My husband, he is proactive too when he knows that there's something coming up, but like he is not there not to say, he is a magical husband. Let me put that out there first. My husband is actually pretty awesome as husbands go. He's just annoying as other human beings are when I'm trying to take over the universe and don't have time. He is trying to nap, yeah. you know? So, <clears throat> but yeah, Sean is, I have to say, uh, he's always ready to jump in there and he hauls and he, whatever her directions are, he executes them to the best of his abilities. To the best of his abilities. I had to add that. <laughs> but, to the best of his abilities. To the best of his abilities, because there is definitely a, there's definitely a. A little disconnect, maybe there, sometimes. There's a distance. From what needs to be done and what he thinks needs to be done. What he feels is a quality yes, job. Yes, yes, yes. Point, I, point in fact, my dressing room, my closet. You know, he felt like he had built this closet to uh, to his best... To speed. OSHA standards. To... to <laughs> And, and and if you'd even, any of you follow my Facebook page, you would know that my my closet recently collapsed. Mm -hmm. Now I may or may not. I will not acknowledge. May you will neither confirm nor deny. I will not that I may or may not have too many clothes. But that is that is a non factor in this because the truth is is I can never have enough clothes. I'm just going to throw that on out there. I'm just going to say that right now. It is not physically possible. So my, my closet collapsed. It was at maximum capacity. Let's it, just say it, that. It may have been at maximum. Like, 
if a feather had floated down. That's probably what happened, like a dust particle came from the rafters and floated down. And your your closet was like, I am going on to be with Jesus now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'd like to thank y'all for coming out. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> So now, so this time he took two by fours and cut grooves into them. He put it back up with the way it was before and it's the wire rack mm -hmm. and then it has the white bars that come out and hold the wire rack mm -hmm. to it. So now at the end of it, there's these two by fours <laughs> all the way down my closet with grooves in them holding the other end of it up. So there's like... He's like he hung from it like a like a monkey, just like hey, you know. He's like that thing is not going anywhere. I'm like, if you would have done that in the first place, that never would have happened. Yes. I'm just saying, you made more work for me, for yourself in the first place because we both know that I was not going to build that closet. But we know how we wanted it built. Exactly. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Like. I need for you to execute things the way that I would execute it if I were capable. If of I doing had it. man muscles. If I had man muscles and equipment. Yeah. And so. Lauren says that there's no such thing as too many clothes, and I have to concur Lauren, with her. Let the church say amen. Amen. Just saying. We were just discussing off camera, and my God, I'm so sorry if I keep touching my face and triggering people. My hair is in my this face is too. In, this, when I say this little, and I think this wig was like $6. When I say this little wig is all over the place, it's in my nose, it's in my <laughs> mouth, it's in my eyes. I'm like, my God, I just want to take and just cl start clawing at my face. Anyway, <clears throat> we were talking off camera about our addiction to um, wigs now. That now buying wigs has taken priority over a lot of other things in our life that should probably be ranked higher. Um, last week, and then I'm going to segue into our next, our next doohickey. Well, do you want to do the next, do a second video or do you want to keep going with this one? I think we just want to keep, I mean, we're going to keep rolling. Let's just roll. And then the third topic, because we have three topics. So let's do, let's, let's finish strong with this one and then we'll just move on. To the third one after that. With so we separate, were talking with about a separate video. Yes. Okay. So we were talking about <clears throat> how our our priorities have changed um, since starting to do this show. How all we really want to do is buy wigs, wear wigs, um, and jewelry, and clothes, and makeup. And um, stuff for the videos. And and more video equipment that, and actually, this little setup that she's got, and I'm going to be posting a little, uh, kind of like a <laughs> behind <laughs> the, the scenes, scenes. Uh, video after this, that to show you this little setup that we've got going on. But I want you all to remember us when, because we are going to uh, eventually go viral, and then we are going to take over the world. And then people are going to be like, Jay, Jen, come on, be on our network. And we're going to be like, wait a minute, we need to see how much money you're offering us first <laughs> because we don't know if we want to be fabulous with you or fabulous with some other company. So we're going to have options soon. So I want you all to get to know us here Yeah. because you can be like, you know what, I am actually, I know how to get in touch with this lady on her personal Facebook page. Mm -hmm. She's my friend. Mm. She's actually my friend. I've been knowing her since they had that bootleg operation <laughs> that they were doing out of Jen's house. Yeah. You guys see, this is my house, y'all. This is, so that you can see, so that you can actually see um, that she lives the life of Wonder Woman. Like, she's not, she's not fooling around. I'm not playing. We're committed to this. So, when I say everything, and one day we'll do like a little tour, but um, everything in here is either Wonder Woman or Superman inspired. Everything. Everything. So, <clears throat> and at Mikasa, I have quite the collection of unicorn uh, paraphernalia. Not to this extent, though. I'm a little more batshit crazy than she is. 
and in this in this regard as far as collectibles are concerned yeah, when it comes to this kind of and we're not even in the room that has the collectibles this no. is just the art this room. is this is a baby this is like this is nothing compared this is my to dining rooms. room my dining room kitchen that just has true story thank you yes is yes Michaela? yes Michaela? I can't Michella? see. Michella? Nope, we did this. Wait a minute, this Michella? Is that right? Michella, did I pronounce it right this time? I think. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. Um <clears throat> anyway, but and I'm gonna seg I'm gonna use that to kind of segue into um things that you were not like when you were a kid and people like people's parents volunteered for career day who came in we, you didn't have career day at your school elementary school uh, like where the parents they volunteer and they come in and they tell you about their career and they say oh you can be a fireman or you can be a policeman or you can be a nurse i know what you're talking about you I, i'm teacher. trying to remember but my brain doesn't work well right now so i can't make i can't pull that memory out Doctor, nurse, lawyer, fireman, policeman, teacher, secretary, maybe. Mm. Top seven. So she said you pronounced it right. I'm not sure which one you which one which one it was. Is it Michelle? I think it was Michelle because we talked about this uh in one of the few videos back. She responded and I believe that she said it's pronounced like Michelle, but with an A at the end. So, Michelle. Anyway, we are going to call you, what are we going to call her? We're going to call you Cookie. That's what we're going to call you from now on, Baby Cakes. We're going to call you Cookie. cookie. You're Cookie. Everybody now. gets nicknames. Everybody it's gets just nicknames. the way we both, we are both like that. We were both like that before we even started any of this yeah, stuff. true story. So, the fact that we both do nicknames... Like I call Lorna, I call her Lorna Lou, I call Pauline Sweetie Pie, I call Grace Gracie. My friend I Robin, call, I call her Bob. Everybody that's what get, we do. There, there you go. Everybody gets a nickname. None of my grandchildren are called by their government names. So there's that. <clears throat> but anyway. My niece is But you friends. know, there's somebody, I'm just saying, that there is somebody out there that actually applied for a job as the editor for Naked and Afraid. There's like their whole job, their, their, <laughs> for the whole eight hour shift is to blur out penises and breasts <laughs> and ball sacks and hoo-hahs, lady bits, man parts. That is their whole job. It's just to move the mouse around. All just <laughs> try to catch it all. Try to catch it all. When I want that person to go to my kid's junior high career day. Shut up. <laughs> tell them. I make excellent money. <laughs> excellent money. More money than you can probably make as a police officer, as a teacher, as a doctor, as a president of the United States, you can make amazing money blurring out people bits, people parts. That's a true story. Hmm. Did you think that, like, who would have thought that that would actually be a career? Or that, um, what are some other funky careers that people don't tell you about? Like jobs that have to be done, but are not super popular, like like sewer, sewer people. Like, like you're the, the dude that picks up and drops off portalettes. Somebody has to do that job. Mm -hmm. There's somebody that's like Frank. I'm gonna be clocking out after we pick up this last load of ten over at the fairgrounds, over at the mosh pit. <laughs> There's a dude that has to take a power hose to those portalettes. Because, see, the pickup and drop-off guy is not the same guy that's going back. And cleaning them. And cleaning them. They got to be ready to roll. for the, They got to be shiny like a new penny for the next drop-off and pickup. Mm -hmm. But nobody talks to you on career day about 
This Playing all has to be done. Somebody has to scoop the poop. Somebody has to. True story. True story. There's somebody, and I, I <clears throat> keep in mind, people, this is all stuff we don't talk about in advance. Like, we may have a, like, sometimes I'll come up with topics. Sometimes she comes up with topics. This happens to be my topic, so I'm kind of rambling about this one. But, like, for instance, what kind of a person do you have to be to want to be a GI specialist? Or a proctologist? Well, you know, that's what I asked my... I want to every day ram these two fingers knee deep into the ani of random gentlemen that show up in my office and feel around. And sometimes I do it in a figure eight. Sometimes we just go in straight. Like, is there a technique that they teach you? Is it, do you go in fingers up, fingers down? <laughs> Stop like, it. is there, <laughs> what are you doing with that? You I'm know, just saying. You know, that's what I asked my, you know, my vaginal wall therapist, the one, you know, my JJ therapist yes. that I've been seeing. I, you know, because she works with men and women. And I'm like, you just play with the genitalia all day. All day. I'm like, do you ever just like go home and your husband's like, yeah, baby, let's get it on. And you're like, you know what? I have seen enough peni today that I'm good. Because you got to go just, numb. At I'm, some just, point, I'm just good. You know, like you think when you get into it, like you think when you finish your uh, internships and your fellowships, you got to be thinking like, yeah, I'm yeah. going to see, I'm going to see this. All day, every day. I am going to, like, the kind of personality that is drawn to, I need for you to give me a stool sample so that I can examine it. You know that all doctors do that? Yeah, it's you like, have to. Yeah. You have to, but I'm just saying, when you when you start into a specialty, and then, your, and then, <coughs> then it poop? becomes all day, every day. All poop. You have people mail you their poop. You have people come in and poop on, you, you test their poop. You, um, and that's a job. That is like, you're on call. If, you know, uh, yeah. And not to say that it's not, but again, it's a necessary job. I always, Somebody has to do that. I always felt sorry for school janitors. Kids puking and they had to clean it up. That's terrible. That always made me just like, and then there was, okay. I'm going to be like, have you ever seen where people go into public restrooms and they don't, uh, let's, it doesn't, they don't leave it the same way they went in. Yeah. And it's those, those people who have to go in and clean that up. Walmart. Yeah. Like, and there's like poop on the ceilings, on the walls. And behind the toilet and, you know, in the light fixtures and you're just like, how in the hell did that even happen? And those are the people that you're just like, this is not what I signed up for. Yeah. This is not what I, no, this is not what I, I get that a little bit working at the orthodontist sometimes. I'm just going, I'm, and I'm just like, he does not pay me enough money. He just, there's not enough money. Yeah. There's just not. I can't I don't have the stomach for it to deal with blood or sputum or bodily fluids or mm -hmm. anything that's coming out of either end. We've got I want no parts of it. Helen from Newfoundland, Canada. It's Helen from Newfoundland. From Canada. Yes. And my nose. I'm just gonna Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. I have to do this. I'm sorry. It's killing me. I wish I had Brett's. <laughs> I just wish I wish I had Brett's. I've made a poor choice. No, it looks I cute. Mean, it looks cute, but it's it's too. It just I just want to claw at my face. Look, mine's in my eyeball. I can't make it stay out of my eyeball. Look at this. It's sexy <sighs> though. Yeah. And you know what? Honestly, plumbers. But I'm gonna say this. Though. Those those people make enough money that that. Mm -mm. I do not feel sorry for them even this much yeah, because they make more money them. than anybody I've no, ever seen in my life. They charge me five billion gillion dollars you know, an hour. The portalet dude is not making the same kind of change that the plumbers are. I'm just saying. I have pity on those people. I have, you know, because at some point you got to kind of, 
I don't know. You got to kind of reevaluate yourself at some point. Like, man, I didn't see this. Like, have I failed my 17 year old self? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm kind of mad that I didn't go into plumbing or electricity. I'm so not going to done plumbing. I can't. I do, couldn't either. Like, but I'm just I saying that we could be making so yeah. much money, we wouldn't even have to worry about it right now. I'm mad that I'm not an electrician. I'm mad that I'm not an electrician um, because I feel like, like I said, the tradesmen, screw telling your kids to be doctors and lawyers and all that other foolishness. Tell them to pick up a trade. You are really always going to need an electrician, an electrician, a car repair. Um, you're going to need a plumber. You're going to need carpentry. You're going to need HVAC. Fact mm -hmm. of the matter. Tell your kids, gear them towards that. They'll always have a job. They'll always be able to work for themselves. Make all kind of crazy money. True story. Anyway. So. Um, yeah, there, but there are all kind of little funky jobs out there that you're like. Like, honestly, you know, like you like to do makeup. Could you ever see yourself doing makeup for a funeral home? Yes. You could. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, I, no. I really could. Uh, in fact, it's it's crossed my mind more than once. That would be totally creepy to me. Dead people don't freak me out. Dead people do freak me out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because my plan... So here's my plan. If it's executed by the husband... <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what my husband wants to do with my body. First of all, let me tell you what my husband wants to do with my remains. Okay? I told him, I told this, this person, Mr. The Mr. I told him, I said, I want to be cremated and I want you to mix me in a can of paint and I want you to paint the bedroom with my remains <laughs> so that you will always be surrounded with me. And I swear as God is my witness, if you ever try to bring another broad in here, <laughs> just know I'm with you. Mm. We're having a threesome. <laughs> My husband said, nope. You know what I'm doing with you? He said, I'm going to get one of those giant popcorn tins. And I'm going to empty it of its contents. And then I'm going to have you remain sealed in a popcorn tin that's got the little festive things around it. And that's where you'll be. That's going to be a popcorn tin is going to be my urn. Hmm. Yep. There that is. Hmm. I don't even remember why I started to say that now. That's oh, because we're talking about death. We were talking about death. So anyway, but you were saying, you, as, I'm sorry, proceed. I you forgot. said that you could do makeup for dead people, and I'm like, no. I don't think I'd have a problem with it. I really don't. Did you ever watch um, Mike and Molly? Yeah, periodically. You know, the sister, that's what she did, was she did makeup for... Yeah. And I remember watching that. Now, Mike and Molly, uh, just so you know, has um, Melissa McCarthy in it. And I'm pretty sure that they followed Sean and I around for a couple of years to get all of their episodes. Right. I'm just saying. They took words directly out of my mouth and put them into Melissa McCarthy's mouth. And she spoke them. The thing with her fighting with the um, the fire alarm, that was me. I swear to God, that was me. I did that. And they put it on that TV. She got made, she made all that money for my story. I'm just saying, they stole my life. They stole it. Anyway, in that show, they showed her sister working on, I was like, huh, I could, I could do that and make some money. And I wouldn't have what to. Kind of, I wonder what kind of special thing you have to have, to licensing or something to work on dead people. Somebody ought to look that up. Somebody should look that up. I got a prize for you. If you come back and have the answer for that, I got a prize for you. I'm going to send you a little, little something. I don't think you have to have licensing. It depends probably <coughs> state by state. Like in Ohio, you don't have to be licensed. Ohio. You have to license. Like, how do you get licensed in Ohio to do makeup on corpses? Hmm. That's the question of the day. First person to answer gets a prize from us. There you go. So we're giving all kinds of prizes. We now. are. We are. 
It's going to be jewelry. So it's not a, if you a have not shared this video yet, please do so because we will add you in for a drawing for the magic eyeliner. The unused one. The unused one. This yes, one. we have an unopened package here. So that is the magic eyeliner. You will be getting one. With the stamp. With the stamp. Don't do not do it like she did it, because she does it. Stamp. She did. The marker the does it. The stamp works to well. You just have to figure it out. Anywho. <clears throat> so, and then we still have another topic to get to. But we're going to kill this here, because.